Hello friends. Well, we have been embarking on a series that is the top three products in every makeup category drugstore edition. And I am doing cheeks today. I was going to put the lips and cheeks together, but when I started to film this, I was like, Ooh, I got a lot of cheek products. I hope that you do enjoy seeing everything that I love for cheeks, bronzer, contour, highlighter, all of that, and the subcategories that go along with that. I do have a numbering system that goes up right here on the screen, and that corresponds to whatever the product is that I'm holding up at the minute. So just remember the number, go down into the description box. Next to the number will be the product with the link and the color and any information that you might need about that. I also leave it in the first pinned comment. All right, we're gonna roll through this. We're gonna rapid fire because there's so much to talk about. Let's start off by talking about powder contour bronzers. The first one is such a no-brainer for me. It's this Essence Contouring Duo Palette, and it, it has in it the powder and then the contour color here. This is a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've used it as a dupe for that. This one is in the lighter skin colors, and then they do have the deeper skin colors. So the powder is really nice in there for lighting. You're not gonna be able to see that on my hand, but you will be able to see the contour color. I like this color because it is more on the neutral side. So beautiful bronzer slash contour. Beautiful on that one. And then Milani, beautiful. This has been around forever and I continue to use it. You can see a pit pan. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer. And this one is in O2 Sunkissed. And again, same thing, just a beautiful color on this so it can be used. I like to call these brontours because it's a cross between bronzer and a contour and it just, beautiful colors. These are all great for lighter skin, but they do have other colors if you have warmer skin or deeper skin. And then the L'Oreal True True Match Lumi Bronze It. This one is the light one. And this one is my third or fourth one of these. This is probably the lightest one out of all those colors. If you're a very light skin, this is going to give you some warmth and it's going to not show up that bronzer very much. So if it's in the winter and you're just really wanting that light kiss of bronze without getting too overwhelmed with too much bronzer color, this one might be just perfect for you. And then they do have three or four colors in this one as well. And then we go into the liquid and cream bronzers or brontours. And I only had two for the cream, so I will show you those first. Kiko Milano, if you have not tried this particular stick for contour bronzer, this is so pretty. This is the 201, and I believe this is the chocolate one, Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour. But like I said, I use it for both because it's that perfect color. Oh my gosh, that's such a perfect color. Creamy formula, blends out like a dream on your skin. I really love that one. And then this one is from Folklore. And again, it's the face contour. And this one is in Mocha. So these are the two I have for creams. This one is pretty darn close to that other one, but maybe a little bit warmer in its tone. So beautiful bronzer on that one as well. And then the Kiko over here. Love both of those so much. And then head straight into the liquid bronzer contour products. Now we all know that these are duping Charlotte Tilbury's and these are really good, both of these. This one is from Kaida. This one is the light medium. I found that this is the best color. These can get a little bit messy. Have you guys noticed that? That this particular delivery system can get a little bit messy. But the light medium I noticed that was the perfect neutral color for me on this one and again blends out so so well just do a lot of stippling with these liquids any liquid bronzer that or blush or whatever you use and then this one is the la girl contour this one's called summer nights and there's that messiness that i was talking about this one is a little bit thinner than the kaida but still very, very easy to work with. I love LA Girl, such a good brand. And then Moira has theirs that they just came out with. This one was, is with the doe foot applicator and that one works so good as well. This one probably is the lightest formula of those three. And this one is in the color Fair Light on that one. So all three of those are really good for your liquid bronzer slash contour. And then let's do highlighters. These are the powder highlighters that I have. First one is from Rimmel. It's just called the Highlight um, Buttery Soft Highlighter Powder. And it truly is very buttery soft. And this one is super bright, high beam, beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that color is. This color is 001 Stardust. 
beautiful, beautiful highlighter on that one. And then this one is a no-brainer. Everybody knows about this one. We've been talking about this one forever. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And this one is just the softest highlighter without being high beam at all. So if you're somebody that really doesn't like that really super glowy look, this might be perfect for you. I use this on eyelids. I use it in the inner corner. Cupid's bow, just about everywhere. Just such a pretty product. Beautiful buttery on that one as well. And then this one I've been using on my eyelids like crazy. This is Pixie and Hello Kitty. And this is called Sweet Glow. And this is such a neat product. It's got that really soft, ethereal look to it. But across your eyelids, it just gives this really beautiful glow without any metallic. It's got a tiny bit of just soft light to it. And I really really love this one. Big pot in there. You could definitely touch up those high points on your cheeks if you wanted to too. It is a little bit more powdery than other ones, but that doesn't bother me because the product itself is just incredibly pretty. And then cream and liquid highlighter. I put these two together. First, let's talk about the cream one I have. This is from Koki Cosmetics. I believe this is called Rosie. Yes, it's called Rosie. This is really a dupe for the Say Cream Highlighter. It's so close to that one. Oh my goodness. And this has got that subtle rose color to it. And then it also just brings that amount of light to whatever you're using it on. So pretty. I love this color, but they do have a couple other colors in this one. And then the NYX Born to Glow. This is the liquid highlighter. And this one, I always have a hard time because this one comes out a little bit extra on there, but we will do our best to not get too much. So this is a beautiful liquid highlighter. And this one is one that grips your cheeks, which I love about it as well. Look at how high beam that one is. And so pretty. It almost has a dual chrome pink and lavender shift in there. Really pretty on that one. And then this one is from ML Smile. And this one is in Lighten. And this is that doe foot applicator. And then I like how this has a little well in that doe foot. So all you have to do is just dot a couple of times on there and then spread that one. And you can see when I spread that one out as well, how pretty that one is. This one is gorgeous underneath blush or on top of blush. This one could also be used on your eyelid if you wanted it to look at those. Oh my gosh, I love a good highlighter. Okay, blush. I am such a blush fiend. And the ones that I chose for a powder blush are, first of all, the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. These are really, really awesome. They have just a little bit of a glowy feature to them. And I'll make sure that I list all of these colors down below. And I love mixing these two together. I don't know what it is, but these two together are just pretty when you actually get them on your eyes. So love those. And the second one that I chose was the Maxi Blush from Rimmel. These are so pretty as well. Let me just tell you what these are. The first one is called Third Base. And actually this is a, this is kind of a pinky rose color. Really pretty on that one. Super soft on all of these. I like a powder on top of a cream, actually, if you have any problems with your blush staying around. And then the other one is called Wild Card. Kind of that bright berry color. So pretty on that one too. So those are lovely, creamy, buttery. And then I couldn't do a video without talking about Milani's baked blushes. They're beautiful as well. This one is my favorite and it's Dolce Pink. Mostly everybody goes for the Luminoso. I'm a Dolce Pink lover. And this is just the blush that I reach for as the no-brainer blush. And just goes with everything, highlight and your blush at the same time. So really super pretty on that one as well. And then liquid blush, my goodness, I could talk about liquid blush for an hour, but these e.l.f. little camo liquid blushes that have the doe foot applicator, they are awesome. I really like these as well. And I am not gonna be able to see that color, but these are so pigmented. And I will try to put this up in the screen as we go along. Super pigmented. The first one is a peachy pink. The first one was a peachy pink. And then you have more of a neutral color right here. And that's kind of a rosy neutral color. And then this hot pink color right here. I just, I love these blushes from e.l.f. They did a great job on them. So really easy to work with. Just stipple them and you're going to have them there. And then this one right here is called Kimuse. Kim, 
Kimusi. I, it's a Korean brand. I'm not sure what it is. It is like a fingernail polish type deal here. But what I love about this particular blush is that this one lasts such a long time. And it's really easy to blend out, but it lasts Oh, it lasts so good on your cheeks. And I'm thinking about getting some more colors of this, like I need more blush, but I'm thinking about getting some more colors of this because of how easy it is to work with and how long it does last on the cheeks. And then the OG favorite of mine from Milani, their Cheek Kiss Liquid Blushes. I have loved these forever. This first one is called Rose Romance. This is probably my favorite color that they have. It's just a beautiful color kind of a neutral rosy color. And then Pink Flirt is another one that they have. And this one is a true baby pink type color on that one. And then Berry Smooch is the last one that I have. And these come out really fast. So be careful because a little bit of this goes a long way. But look how pretty that berry color is. So all of these, oh my gosh, I love liquid blush, so pretty. Of course, go ahead and try and use a stipple brush if you can on these and just really beautiful formulas, all three of these. You can't really go wrong. And I love a liquid blush. It's gonna stick around for a long time. And then my very, very favorite blush category, cheek category is cream blushes. Love them. And I do not remember, I know that I got this on Amazon, but I don't remember what the name of the company is, but it's a mousse type cream product in here in a stick. And these are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. I only have this one, but I reach for this all the time. It is a lot like Merit and Makeup by Mario. And who else has the stick blushes? I can't even think right now. But it's so much like those high-end ones. And they this performs so good. You only need a dot. And then you can just smudge it out with your fingers or if you want to use a brush or whatever. So easy to work with. Highly pigmented, but very creamy. I really like that one. And then you guys knew that Moira was going to be in here. <laughs> Moira blushes. I have about six more of these. So I picked out my favorites because we'd be here like all day long trying to go through all of these colors. So the first one is called I Miss You. I put these in so many of my videos. This is one of the formulas that has got like a little tackiness to it. So it really clings to your cheeks. And again, a tiny bit of this goes a long way. I trust you on the next one is right there. Earthy, pretty pink color, kind of a deepened rose color. And then the next one is I Desire You. This is that mulberry kind of color. I Desire You. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty to even use on your lips if you want to. That one would be gorgeous on your lips. I use these a lot on my lips. Um, I like you on this one. Just so gorgeous as well. And that one is kind of your neutral, deepened, beautiful rose color. They have a lot of lighter colors in, the, in here if you want that. But those are my four favorite right there. And then lastly are these new Morphe Euphoric Rush blushes that are the cream formula. I, oh, I fell in love with these. These are so good. The first one, it's called 3-in-1 Silk Blush. The first one is called Intoxicate. Again, this is that rosy color, um, just kind of a neutral rose on that one. This one is their new one that they have out. I think this one might be limited edition for the holiday season. This one is staying neutral. This one is truly a very, very neutral earthy color on that one. These are super creamy, super buttery, easy to blend out. This one is called Pleased. This one is Probably the lightest one I have. This one is more of a true rosy pink color on that one. And then the last one is, again, that little bit of lavender color in there with Energized. And these are all so beautiful. So you get that kind of mulberry lavender color on that. Super easy to blend out. Beautiful if you want to layer on top of them some highlighter or if you want to put some powder blush on top of them. So pretty and beautiful. And they do have another limited edition color, which I'll make sure I link down below for you too. It was really a kind of a brightish reddish color and I wish I had gotten it. But like I said, like I need another blush. All right, there you go for the third installment, which is all about cheeks. I'm going to do another one 
where I do the lips separate. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this today. And if you have a very favorite cheek product at the drugstore that I didn't mention, make sure that you tell us that down in the comments because I'm always trying new things and I love your suggestions, truly. I go out and I buy so much from your suggestions. Give this video a like on your way out of here. That would really help me out a lot. Hope that you're all doing really well. Please stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends. Love you.